Dscope integrates with Recapture Enterprise to offer strong fraud protection capabilities for your application. Dscope is a complete user management and authentication platform which supports many different passwordless authentication mechanisms such as pass keys, magic links, TOTP authenticators, social login, and SAML. In addition to offering all these passwordless authentication mechanisms, with Dscope you can design no-code user journeys to implement sign-up, sign-in, multi-factor auth, and many other user journeys. Dscope also offers complete user management with multi-tenancy and role-based access control. Dscope integration with ReCAPTCHA takes ReCAPTCHA's core capabilities such as adaptive risk analysis, code-based detection, account defender capabilities, and best-in-class protection to offer bot protection and account takeover protection. Dscope can use risk score returned by ReCAPTCHA to either block the user session completely or trigger multi-factor user journeys. Dscope integrates bi-directionally with ReCAPTCHA Enterprise to call annotate in case of successful second factor of successful logins, failed logins, so that ReCAPTCHA Enterprise learning models can be improved over time. Let's take a look at the demo. This is the Dscope console. And DSOAP consoles enable users to build different flows, which can be embedded into different parts of the application. For this particular demo, we will look at two different flows using ReCAPTCHA Enterprise Connector. So here is the connectors page. This page can be used to configure different connectors. And as you can see, the connectors that are supported and already built are shown down here. We have already configured a ReCAPTCHA Enterprise connection using project key, site key, and many other different parameters such as API key. While configuring the connector, you can also test a connector and then go ahead and save it. Once the connector is configured, you can build your flow and this flow can be embedded in your application as sign up flow, sign in flow, step up multi-factor authentication, or any other user journey that you would like to see. This particular flow is designed for a CAPTCHA protected signup scenario. The first step in the flow is taking email and password with embedding the reCAPTCHA right here. This particular element can be dragged and dropped from the left panel here. And this particular element embeds the required JavaScript component into the sign-in screen. The next step in the flow is a reCAPTCHA enterprise assessment to check whether this particular session is a high risk, a low risk, based on different parameters that reCAPTCHA takes and returns as the assessment. This particular step could be pulled in by using this connector addition of actions from the left here. The next step is to run a condition and check whether the score returned by reCAPTCHA risk analysis score is greater than a certain value. In this case, we have taken a 0.5 value. These values will be dependent on your environment and may also depend on different settings in the reCAPTCHA enterprise site. So this particular condition has, if it is a high risk user, then go ahead, show them a block screen and ask them to contact support. This could be used to display different messages to the user as well. In case it is low risk, we go ahead and call this action to sign up the user with the password. And the next step is to actually go ahead and collect user's phone number and verify it for enabling second factor auth. Then we go ahead, update the user's phone number by sending them an SMS, asking the user to enter the OTP and then verifying the OTP. And once that is successful, we go ahead and return the user with successful login. This flow usually would be implemented with a lot of code, with a lot of condition in your application, and this could be designed and modified easily in the visual workflows that Dscope provides. So let's save it. Second flow we're gonna see is the CAPTCHA protected sign-in flow. In this flow, the first step is a sign-in screen, which takes email and password and a 
capture JavaScript component which is embedded. Then you log in the user, and if it is a successful login, then you go ahead and check with reCAPTCHA and assess the risk score, which comes back and can be used in this condition. And after you look at this condition, depending on the score, which is greater than 0.5 or not, which is the value setting we have used, again, depends on your environment. We can say if it is a legitimate user, you just log them in. And if you think it's a fraudulent user, then do a second factor auth. At this point of time, an SMS sent to the user. Since we already signed in the user, we will be able to use the phone number that we already used in the sign up to send an SMS to the user, verify the OTP. And if the OTP is successful, that means the user verified with the second factor. At this point of time, we call back the Google reCAPTCHA connector to annotate that the user passed the two-factor on. Now, this particular step can take an annotation and reason. Annotation could be legitimate or fraudulent if the two-factor auth failed. And the reasons could be initiated two-factor, passed two-factor, failed two-factor, so on and so forth. Now, notice this annotate could be called in other scenarios like incorrect passwords or correct password as well. So, you could enhance this flow to pass more information back to the reCAPTCHA enterprise so that over time, the predictions get better for your particular environment. So that's the second flow. Very easy to configure these flows for both sign up and sign in. And these flows can then be embedded into your application using very simple React components that Dscope provides. To test our flows, let's use Dscope Explorer. Dscope Explorer is a tool that you can put in your project ID in the flow and quickly run the flow end to end. So let's get a project ID. Get the sign up flow. So as you can see, our flow is loaded here. You can run through the entire flow. Also notice the reCAPTCHA is loaded. The JavaScript here will be able to assess the risk of the session, bot detection, and all the capabilities of reCAPTCHA are available to you. So to quickly summarize, we were able to design two different flows, sign up and sign in flow. In the sign up flow, we were able to embed reCAPTCHA in the flow screen, then assess as the user logged in, and after the assessment, being able to sign up the user with username and password or fail in case the it was a bot. And in the sign-in case, after successful sign-in with username and password, we assess, and if it is a fraudulent user, then we go ahead and do a second factor. So that's a quick demonstration of the complete integration of Google reCAPTCHA Enterprise, including assess, annotate actions with Dscope. And you can use Dscope integration to deploy reCAPTCHA into your application. Thank you.